Hey yo! Another video from the Angry Photographer here. Um, now in the age of digital photography, which of course has been around for quite some time now, the most important thing that you need to consider that most people don't, and I know this because I used to repair computers, and I'm also the number one person, no lie, in the world for answering tech support questions on the MacBook Air on uh, Apple's uh, tech support board, discussions.apple.com. You can actually find my avatar there, uh, Plutinus Veritas. Uh, yes, that is me. Uh, so I'm the number one person. Little do people know that this heavily tattooed person is the number one person in the world that's answering tech support questions on MacBook Air. The important thing being, obviously, is data protection. Believe it or not, I own just a little bit underneath 250 hard drives. What? Sounds like a lie, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's actually true. Um, there's a lot of important methodologies to saving your data. You have to have backups, redundancies. You have to consider a lot of secondary and third and fourth tier methodologies, but I've made it really simple. I've uh, written this uh, award-winning uh, article. See, that's me. I'm the person that wrote that. The methodology to protect your data, backups versus archives. It's a one megabyte file. You can find it. Uh, there's a lovely picture I took. How do you like that picture? Don't well, you think that's pretty awesome? It's a 500 gig hard drive behind a, a neat backdrop. I might explain that later at some time. It's a little photograph I did. Anyway, it's uh, it's about 10 pages. It's a really uh, important article. If you don't read this, then you're an idiot because there's nothing worse than spending all that time on your photography and saving your data and going to all that shit with your expensive lenses and your expensive cameras and expensive trips and all the time focusing in on nude models or whatever the hell it is you take pictures of uh, only to lose your data. It's like, oh shit, my hard drive crashed, I lost all my pictures. I have spent so many years hearing sob stories that are just so awful. Like, oh, you know, I, I lost 10 years worth of data because I had it on a backup hard drive and the hard drive feels like, holy shit, what is wrong with you? Um, I've written here an article that is so highly praised that uh, Apple themselves uh, sent me an award and a t-shirt, which... Hardly is a uh, award at all, but if you don't read this art, one of the most important things of photography is you have to be a master of light, you have to be a master of composition, you have to know what sort of gear to buy. But nobody talks about this. This shit's important. Why is it important? Because it's digital photography. You're saving that important shit somewhere. Ah! Okay, you've spent all this time focusing on light, composition, gears, how to shoot, where to shoot, what to shoot. And then you go out to uh, Best Buy and you buy yourself a little fucking cheap shit hard drive. It's like, I'm going to back up my shit onto this hard drive and it's going to be safe. And then I'm going to stick it in the safe and, you know, my shit is safe. Wrong! Wrong! Um, I am the preacher and uh, I know this is going to sound like I'm tooting my horn. But I shit you not that I am, I am God when it comes to data protection. For many, many, many years now, I have made myself a god when it comes to uh, de uh, defining and uh, boiling down data protection. And I've uh, brought it all into this simple little article and uh, talk about storage medi uh, media and uh, how you cannot have everything on ferromagnetic hard drives. I've talked about hard drive compartmentalization, systems hubs and data hubs. There is logic and simplicity in this article that will boggle your fucking mind. Um, if you need a link for it, I'm going to throw up a link to uh, this. It's a one megabyte article that I've written. I've, I go over the, the drawbacks and the advantages of all backup uh, storage systems like hard drives, uh, uh, multiple hard drives where you can have clones, data clones, uh, online archives, cloud, uh, especially is important that nobody takes in consideration are like 100 year archival DVDs. Your shit is not safe on hard drives. Even if you've got six copies of it scattered all over the place, I'm going to give you shit you've never heard about and stuff that is so fucking important. You know, this is really a big part of digital photography. And you don't hear, you know, every fucking photography magazine out there, they don't talk about this shit. It is so fucking important. It is important as hell.
and nobody's talking about it. This is this is as important as you know whether you're shooting with a broken lens or not. I mean, it's more important than that. I mean, you can have all the best gear in the world and be the best photographer in the world, but if you have shit, for shit data protection skills on what you should do, why you should do, and how you should do, then you are fucked. I mean, I I shit you not. In doing tech support for Apple. I have heard true life stories that will make your dick drop off, uh, you know, and your eyes sink back into your skull, like that Indiana Jones episode. Just people like have lost a fortune. They've lost their jobs. They've lost all their con. They've lost everything because they didn't have enough redundancy. You know, it's all about redundancy. Not only redundancy, but multiple types of platforms. If you read this article that I wrote, and I've, I've, I've actually revised this article 114 times to make it concise, pithy, to cover every possibility on earth. I have heard, no shit, I have heard from a Secret Service agent that they use this article as the Bible for protecting their data. I shit you not. Yes, this article that I wrote. The Secret Service, I don't know how much of the Secret Service uses it, but they they actually tell uh, some of their uh, folks, how many of their folks, I have no idea, but I'm told that it is mandatory reading for important shit that, uh, that they read this article uh, that I wrote. Um, you'll love it, it's important, and uh, this might seem dry or boring to you, but your shit is important, you know? You've saved your pictures, you've done all that hard work, and you're like, oh, I'm going to throw this shit on a $60, you know, one terabyte hard drive, and I'm going to throw it in the... Oh, my God, you're making such a horrible mistake. Horrible! Um, I, I don't want to drone on about this, but this is really an insanely important part of digital photography. Insanely important. And, you know, get off your lazy ass and read this, even if you skim read it. If you read this article, you'll be better than 99.99999% of skilled computer users out there just by reading this one article that I wrote. It's that important. And if you apply some of these things to your data protection philosophies and understand like what the difference between a backup and an archive is, you know, like I wrote here, the first realization on your data, of uh, your data on your computer is vulnerable. The second is that you need a hard drive backup. And the third realization is that at the very least, you need a secondary hard drive. And the fourth and final realization is the frag fragility of all hard drives and ferromagnetic storage. You're going to have to stick your important data on frozen, unassailable optical redundancy across multiple storage platforms and multiple locations. It's not only about multiple redundancy, but it's also about multiple platforms. And ferromagnetic storage, i.e. hard drives, is insufficient. There are century discs out there, of which there are several varieties. One is what the professionals use, it's called a Teo Uden. Your typical DVD, man, nobody likes burning DVDs, alright? Nobody likes it, but you gotta do it. You have to do it to protect your shit. The archival DVDs, like the Teo Yudens, which you can get on eBay, by the way, made in Japan by JVC. Uh, typical shit G DVDs you buy at, uh, at uh, Best Buy are rated between 5 and 10 years. These are rated for 100 years plus, okay? Your important shit has to be protected. I literally, I shit you not, I have, in a lot of fireboxes and in, in a couple of safes, I have nearly... 250 hard drives, of which about half of them, you know, have data on them. And on top of that, I've got thousands in the other room, thousands of blank archival, not regular DVDs, but archival DVDs. And uh, I've burned thousands of them. I've burned so many DVDs over the past 20 years, it, it boggles the mind. Uh, actually, the CDs before that, only recently in the past uh, 12 years or so, hasn't been DVDs. Um, but you have to read this article. If you got any questions on where it is, uh, right now, if you know what uh, Kickass Torrents is, you know how to download a torrent. I hope you know how to download a torrent. Go to Kickass Torrents and look for this. Just type in this in the search bar. It is there for download. It's only a one megabyte file, okay? Uh, I'm making it open source to everybody. I wrote it. I give it to you. 
is type in professional methodology for protecting your data because uh, your, your kung fu skills in photography are not complete until you have finished the loop up and that loop is that important shit you've spent so much time on photographing with all that expensive gear and lenses and trips and whatnot you are screwing yourself unless you've got some intellectual skills on some extremely important points on data protection methodology not only redundancy but it's also about platforms and spreading things out I can make it so that uh, you know you if you can say that the United States or whatever country you live in fell off the side of the earth and your data is still protected on an anonymous server in Europe or Russia or wherever it is uh, and you also if all your hard drives fail you've still got all your data protected on archival DVDs it's got multiple redundancies on multiple platforms and I'm gonna give you some important tips in that little article just read it for Christ's sakes okay nobody ever talks about this and this is so important it's just insanely important, and you'll never hear about it talked about in Photography Magazine. Once in a while, you'll find a little comment like, you know, you need to buy a hard drive to back your shit up. Well, well that's, you know, that's kind of true, but that's like saying that duct taping yourself into your seat is, you know, you know, good enough instead of using a seat belt. It's just, it's dumb. Nobody ever thinks about this, and yet it's so incredibly important, especially in today's age. And it's insanely important with digital photography. Yes, I've droned on too long in this video, but this topic is so fucking important. If you ignore it, you ignore it at your own peril and stupidity. So, take 20 minutes of your time, read this article, and you will become a god in understanding. And if you read this article, you're going to go, oh shit, I've been fucking up all this time. I was in danger, you know. I, I never thought about that. That makes so much sense. I should have been doing that the whole time. Anyway, download it, and I'll post the link in the video. Another video from the Angry Photographer. I bet you didn't think I was that smart. I bet you didn't think I knew that much shit about computers or whatnot. This tattooed freak that you've been watching the videos on, meaning me, yeah, he's, uh, he's the number one person for answering tech support questions on the, the MacBook Air on Apple. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, read the article, please. I beg of you. Later.